Article 250, Grounding and Bonding. 250.12, Clean Surfaces. This section was editorially revised. This is a change that we made throughout the NEC, mainly in Article 250, but also in specific articles, switches in Article 404 and receptacles in 406. It was just a matter of using the correct terminology throughout the codebook. So here's what it says. Conductive coatings like paint, enamel, and similar must be removed from any surface that's used as part of a grounding or bonding connection. And you can see that the only change that we made here was adding the words or bonding. So this connection here very well could be a grounding connection, but it's just as likely that it's a bonding connection, or in fact, both. So back in the 2008 NEC, there was a change that was made to the entire codebook where it used to say equipment such as a light switch, for example, in Article 404. It used to say a light switch shall be grounded. And while that may make sense to a certain extent, when you look at the definitions, it really didn't make any sense at all. The definition of grounded means connected to the earth. So are we saying that you needed to drive a ground rod at every light switch to connect it to the earth? Obviously, that's not the intent. The intent is that it's connected to an equipment grounding conductor. So in 2008, they did really a, a fantastic job of going through the entire codebook and really cleaning up and, and using the correct language. Now, some areas got missed, and since 2008 and 2011 and on up, they've been making small changes to try to catch all of them. And then in 2020, they kind of finished the project. So in the 2020 code, the language about grounding and bonding is really tightened up. We're using the correct terms in pretty much every instance. So again, non-conductive coatings like paint, enamel, and similar must be removed from any surface that's used as part of a grounding or a bonding connection. Not really a technical change that's been in the code for a very long time, but again, just an editorial clarification.